to all the blue coat parents out there. Um, I'm just recording this video as a guide to the homework that gets set at um, at the junior school and hope that you find it very useful. Um, so we'll just look at the purpose of homework to start with. At blue coat we think that homework is a valued opportunity for children, parents and teachers to build a shared responsibility for learning. Research shows that homework is an important part of a child's development throughout their time in school because of the discipline and application needed to complete the homework activities. Finding the right balance between um, completing activities and challenging children's learning and ensuring that parents have the time to support their child can be difficult. The amount of time spent on homework should increase gradually as children get older, but activities are set so that uh, there's not too much to complete on any one night. Um, throughout the rest of this video, we'll look at what homework will be set on a weekly basis, how it's set and where you can go to, to find that. Here is an overview of the homework that we will be setting each week. So the place to go to start with is Purple Mash, which children are now familiar with. Um, and that will have a weekly blog that details the homework for that week. The homework will be largely consistent every week, but it's still the place to go where you'll find links and any information. Um, math activities will be set on Purple Mash as a to do. We have found that there's substantial uh, number of activities on there that match to the work that has been doing in class. We would also encourage children to go on to Times Table Rockstars since it's so important that children are able to rapidly recall their times tables to be successful in maths. In reading, the most important thing you can do is spend 15 minutes every night reading with your child, be that listening to them read or you reading to them. We believe that's such a valuable thing and that's why we've invested so much in um, high quality, engaging books that children take home that are at their reading level. You may find some year groups also add additional activities on read theory or purple mash, but that is specific per year group. In terms of spelling, um, we've moved on to a new spelling scheme um, where they look at um, different sounds and spelling patterns. And each week, the words that children have found tricky uh, would be written in their planner. And we would encourage you to test your children on those particular words. For history and geography topics, there's a termly creative task, which um, is the opportunity for children to have a bit of choice in what they do. Now, um, in the following slides, I'll give additional information and show people how to get onto the various um, aspects of homework that we use. So I just wanted to show you where you needed to come to find your homework. So the Purple Mash home screen will be similar. I've shared the um, web address that you need to access it for Blue Coat. Now I'm just impersonating a pupil at the moment. And if you go on to sharing and shared blogs, you will find all the blogs that are accessible to, um, to your child. And here is a, a sort of year for homework blog. Click on there. And you can see there's one for tomorrow that I've just created. So click on that and it will open up and just give you a quick overview of the homework that you need to do for that week. So maths, check your to do's. There's the link to Times Table Rockstars. Uh, just a reminder on reading um, and it might give any other information that you have for this week. Now, um, if you go exit that, then you'll get to the home page again and the two do's will show the homework that you have. So here we have during two days, there's a math to do, values of the digits uh, up to 10,000. There's a monster multiplication that you can do. And also there's um, a reading to read chapter one from the book Alien Hotel and a quiz to accompany that. Um, I've also just shared the Times Table Rockstars homepage. Lots of different things you can do um, to get your child really uh, fluent with their Times Tables. So that is that. I will just stop that.
Now, I mentioned previously the termly creative task will be, that will be related to either your geography or history uh, unit at that time. So I've just shared an example here. Um, so this is um, a grid for the Romans, a, a project that's completed in year four. And uh, you can see there's a few activities such as make a model of a Roman building, creating a fact file, uh, draw the flags of some countries that, that Rome in, invaded. Um, I think the key is with this task is that it's very much pupil led. So do what they want to do. It might be that they want to do some research. It might be that they want to do something creative. It might be that they want to make a game. Um, so it's really no pressure for this. So um, try and interact with your child on this. And uh, we say at least one, but of course, if you brought in more, we'd be really happy with that. So we do want to offer you support to make sure that um, homework can be a really positive, enjoyable experience for you and your child. Please do let us know if you have any online access issues, whether that's to do with your internet connection or access to a device, uh, because there may be some support for that. We can offer some paper-based homework, but we do need to know about that. We hope to be able to run some sort of after-school homework club, and there is a facility for children to use a laptop at lunchtime in the library. Uh, to find logins, they should be recorded in your child's planner. If you're having any issues with that, then please let us know as well. And um, I think a lot of parents are familiar with the um, email contacts, the year group email contacts, they're just shared there. So year, whatever the year they're in, at bluecoatfederation.co.uk. But of course, come and speak to us on the playground as well. I hope you found this video useful and uh, I'll see you all soon.